Right, unless you've been living under a rock for the last day, you are well aware of the slap heard around the world, which is Will Smith slapping Chris Rock for his distasteful joke at the Oscars. Now, I'm not here to talk about the slap, if it was right, if it was no reaction, but what I am here to talk about is Chris Rock and how he handled it to move past it. Because with speaking in public, one of the biggest fears people have is, what happens if the audience says a negative comment, jokes bomb, some type of disruption happens? And that can be often a very big fear people have. Well, in this, we're going to see how Chris Rock handles it like a pro and what specifically he does to move past it and to really take it in stride. And these are tips that you can utilize if a disruption comes up. Hopefully not a slap of the face, but any disruption that happens, there's a very specific number of things that Chris Rock did that you can do to handle it like a pro and drop your fear. So let's take a look. All right, so this is how the whole event begins. All right, so ooh, a bit of a distasteful joke for sure. Uh, Will seems to be liking it. Jada, not so much. But it all changes very quickly after he looks over at Jada and she does not approve of this joke. Will goes from smiling and laughing to being furious. Here it comes. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, so was this staged or not? Who knows? Uh, the one thing that I question is if you see someone angrily walking towards you, why would you put your hands behind your back and stick your face forward? That seems very strange to me. But at the other side, the, he could have thought there's no way uh, I am in no physical threat at all. He's not going to slap me in the face. Maybe he's just going to do something funny. It's... You know, the Oscars, they're going to be actors. So it could have been that he did that because he thought there was to be absolutely no threat of physical harm. Clearly not the case. But look, here's the situation happened. It's how Chris Rock handles it. This is where we see how professional he is. Because in that moment, you got to think, what could he do? Option number one is he retaliates. He could have slapped him back. He could have chased him right now, got, got him, started a fight, started an altercation. He could have called for security. These are all options that would have taken the show down. But being a pro that he is, you'll see how he reacts. Okay, so first thing he does, calls out the obvious, does it in a funny way. So again, if these situations happen to you, which hopefully you're not going to get slapped in the face in the middle of a talk, but it could be something like phones go off in the middle, you get hecklers, you get rude comments from the audience, people get up and leave, they say some mean things as they are leaving. These are all situations that I have encountered personally and I've seen happen many, many times. How do you handle it? This is the critical point here because you do not control what happens in the live scenario, but you do control how you react to it. So step number one is address the elephant in the room. Just call out what happened. Do not run away from it. Do not hide from it. Do not pretend it didn't happen. He called it out. A very good technique to do that. Okay, so this, he's stunned. He's clearly stunned. He's rattled, but he is sitting there. He's just working through it. So this is a situation when you're going to be there speaking, somebody gets up, they say something mean, they get up and leave. They say, you're terrible. This is horrible. This is a waste of my time. It's going to be difficult to maintain composure in that situation. So what he's doing right now is he's giving himself time to process, to recalibrate. His nervous system is going to likely be a bit jacked up right now, and so will yours. So it's about taking it, going, how can I ground myself, recalibrate, and then continue to move forward? So number one, he embraced it, made a joke, said Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me, addressed exactly what happened in a funny way. Two, he's giving himself time to embrace what happened, to recalibrate so that he can start to move forward. So watch this. That was a... Uh... Okay. Again, you hear that he's saying this is that was the greatest night in the history of television. The audience comes on board and he starts moving forward with it. So this is a big thing. Situation happened. He embraced it. Number two, gave time to recalibrate, to work through what's going on. 
And then number three, he shifted it with a statement that moved you forward. So even if that happens, let's just say, for example, someone gets up, yells something mean at you, says you suck, uh, says I'm out of here and leaves. You could be like, all right, well, great. You know, that's <laughs> clearly that person wasn't a fit to work with me. That is okay. Hopefully they find someone that's going to be a better fit for them. And then you just move forward with it. So again, that would be an example of how you could address it to move you forward. It's the same way. It's it's about giving yourself time to really embrace what happened and then continue moving forward. So he continues on here. So we're here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out for best documentary. So as you can see, his delivery isn't the smoothest after. I'm sure he's still quite rattled, but he's moving forward. And as he continues to go with it, it's going to get better. His delivery will improve and he's going to get back on track. But here's the thing. Chris Rock, did he lose some points with a distasteful joke? Yes. Is he a comedian? And that's, you know, that's part of what often happens is distasteful jokes are made. Yes. But Chris Rock has won many fans on his professionalism and how he handled it. He did not get rattled. He did not react in violence. He embraced what happened. He made light of it, and he moved forward, handling it like a pro. So the same scenario, the same process is going to work for you when these happen because a lot of these situations are going to occur where you can't control what happens in the audience. That's the beauty of public speaking is that, that live element, but what you can control is how you react. So when you can take this on, it's going to help you that if something happens that's out of out of your control, that's unexpected, it's those three steps. Number one, you embrace what happened. Number two, you give yourself time to work your way through it. And number three, you turn it and spin it into a direction that moves you and the audience forward. That's going to reduce the nerves and give you more control so that you can seize these opportunities and speak with confidence.